How to Plan for Retirement, a simple guide to help you retire with peace of mind. Hello, it's me, Professor Know-It-All, and yes, I'll be giving you the very best tips so you can retire with peace of mind. Hello, Professor. Are you now an expert on that topic? Of course. Oh, okay. So you're all ready for retirement? Of course I'm ready. So then, you have money saved. Well, not exactly, but I have a plan. I will live with my kids. Living with your family during retirement can be very gratifying, but surely you don't want to be a burden on them. Did you know that people in the United States on average live 20 years after they retire? In general, people need almost 80% of what they earn in order to live comfortably after retiring. Um... That's a lot of money, so you'll definitely need a good plan in order to get there. Okay, don't panic yet. It's never too late to start, or even too early. Let me tell you what you should do so that the next time you can give people good advice. Sounds good. Professor, according to the Consumer Action Handbook, the first thing is recognizing the importance of saving for retirement. The three most common options are 1. Pension benefits offered by some places of employment. 2. Savings and investments started by you. 3. Social Security, which is the federal government's retirement plan. Now, if you're still working, find out if your place of employment offers a pension plan and how it works. Some companies also offer a 401k plan. 401 what? I've never heard of that truck, but mine is newer. I'm not talking about vehicles here. I'm talking about retirement plans in which if you save, your company will match a percentage of the contributions you make. Oh, that's like free money. Exactly. Sometimes you impress me, Professor. In order to plan well for retirement, you must consider what types of expenses you'll have, whether you'll work or not, if you'll have additional medical insurance, or if you'll have costly hobbies like traveling. There are many things to consider, so you may want to consult a financial expert for help. Yikes, I'm feeling busy. Professor, you can also ask for help and get tips from the following organizations. AARP, American Savings Education Council, Department of Labor, Securities and Exchange Commission, Social Security Administration. Oof, I'm feeling a little better now. Professor, this is about saving, not spending. Better yet, let me remind you to visit USA.gov or in Spanish at gobiernousa.gov where you can learn more about all of this and other interesting topics for consumers. And remember, you can also order your free Consumer Action Handbook.